Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony. And I'm CP. And today we're going to introduce a beginner's guide to storing cigars correctly. So Paul, what can you tell me about storing cigars? Can I just keep them under my bed or in a cupboard somewhere? Or up your chimney. Up like, my chimney. <laughs> like either. No, there are uh, specific ways that you're going to want to store cigars for uh, keeping them optimal for a most enjoyable smoking experience. So on the table in front of us, we have the key ingredients to storing your cigars correctly. You need a airtight or close to airtight container, as you can see by Charles Philippe. You need a humidification source, and ideally you need a calibrated hygrometer as well. So if we take those one by one, uh, we can go from the uh, kind of airtight storage solution. So probably, you know, your cheapest options are going to be something like a airtight uh, Tupperware container, like mm. this blue lid one from Ziploc. So if times are tight, I should go for that. If I'm just starting out, maybe. Yeah, definitely. If you're just starting out, you're just going to get used to it. Um, yeah. I'd say that, you know, going with a Ziploc or a uh, Boveda humidor bag right. is ideal. Regular Ziploc um, with the zip ties on top, they actually mm. allow uh, humidity exchange. So you're going to want to get something that's more fit for the job. But you know these come in at you know under ten bucks. It's not you know mm. they already come with a, a Bavita pack. So you've already got a humidification source um, kind of put in there. Oh, fantastic! So, that's so convenient. Yeah, but if you, for example, been given a humidor or you want to buy a humidor, uh, this would be our entry level recommendation. It's a hundred dollars. We have the link below. Uh, this is was a gift for me when I first started getting into. Um, cigars and I've had it correctly seasoned because it is a wooden humidor uh, as you can see uh, the seasoning process is extremely important above me you're going to see a link on how to season a humidor correctly once that's done then you can actually store cigars in it and we're going to need to move on to humidification sources so I've been using these gels for a long time uh, and I've also been using sort of foam that you can get which sometimes comes with these kind of humidors but uh, recently we've been, well you've been doing it for quite a number of years, but recently I've been turning towards Boveda because they offer a much more convenient uh, option for keeping your cigars humid. So tell us a bit more, well, a little bit about that, Paul. <laughs> sure, yeah, I mean, um, you know, these are, these are great and they're supposed to maintain RH around, you know, 70% along with sponges. Mm. And uh, you, some of you may have heard about the need to rotate cigars uh, etc. What happens when you fill these back up with the gel or the solutions you get all with sponges? Cigars closest to them are actually getting closer to 95 to 100% mm -hmm. RH, which can, you know, damage um, the cigars themselves. And we have additional resources in the description below that covers all everything about cigars, basically over humidification, under humidification, etc. So check out those links. Um, I used to use these as well, but it's kind of a hole in the head. Like you mm -hmm. may have to rotate cigars. You're going to have to fill them up. Um, you know, cost benefit, I personally use uh, the Boveda packs um, and I've got very friendly with uh, Rob over at Boveda uh, who is the presenter of their box press uh, podcast and uh, he shared a lot of information and science behind it so it just makes more and more sense the more I learn about Boveda. Boveda is a two-way humidification source so if um, you know the cigars or the environment is over humid they will actually bring humidity in, but their real job, or they're really made for is giving that humidity out um, into a, into a uh, humidor or into the cigars themselves, you know? Okay. So, um, that's fantastic. I actually did have something, not these particular ones, but something very similar using gels that was put on one side of my humidor and the cigars near them did actually start to grow mold while the others, they were actually quite dry. So yeah, something like this, which really evenly distributes that humidity would be exceedingly convenient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point to make. And I think we've all been there if you've, mm. you've been into cigars for a little while. It definitely takes a little bit of refining. Um, if you want to go that one step further, um, mm. beyond what we would recommend the Boveda packs, you can actually get a hygrometer. These are effectively useless unless you calibrate them. Mm. So and we've covered that in detail. You can see videos suggested here and below where Paul explains in detail how to calibrate a hygrometer. Sure. And the nice thing is, uh, well, this is a, a slightly cheaper model. This is probably around $15, $20, links below, um, where you can calibrate it. But you're going to have to buy a calibration kit. We recommend the Boveda one. It's the only one I'm actually aware of. Mm. Um, 
How it works is basically there's a water and salt solution in here and it's at 75% relative humidity and it's accurate to plus or minus 0.3% RH. Uh, once you go through the calibration process, you can turn the knob on this one here to set it. Mm. And then we also have the Bova the Smart Sensor where there is a specific review of this below and of other app enabled sensors. Um, you basically download onto your iPhone or Android device, um, put it in the uh, calibration kit and then you're off. And then once you've done, you put it in your humidor and then you, you can track it whether it's a wooden one or a, an airtight container such as the uh, the humidor bag or a Ziploc mm. uh, or a, a Ziploc container, Tupperware container. And because these are Bluetooth, you can technically have them in uh, in a travel humidor in your backpack. So Correct, you can... yeah, and this is a nice small one. Mm. Uh, in, a, in another video uh, below, we cover the six or and sensor push, which some of you guys may be aware of. Uh, as well as the pros cons, uh, but that's probably outside the scope of this video. So yeah. if you're interested in that, check it out below for sure. So yeah, so that's kind of your basics. Uh, what you need, you need a container for the cigars, you need a humidification source, and ideally some way to track um, them as well. Uh, in a follow-up video, we're gonna be talking quickly about whether you should or should not keep your cigars in cellophane. Um, links below for that one. Mm. As always, we appreciate your comments or questions. If you have comments on uh, great entry level uh, wooden desktop humidors or other uh, airtight containers that you guys have used that would be uh, greatly welcome uh, and any questions you may have of us here at Bespoke Unit so as always please like these videos if you got something out of it and caress that subscribe button <laughs> <laughs> so that's, uh, that's it from us today I'm Paul Anthony I'm CP and we'll see you next time at Bespoke Unit take care